Hey guys, Chris from Cable Bullet here, and today we're going to review the different options we have for mounting your handrail. Usually, you'll have to consider the following options when your guardrail is 42 inches on a stair run. Let's dive into it. Let's take a quick look at the different bracket options we offer. We have our wall mount bracket, which is great for projects that have sections where you need handrail, but don't necessarily need full cable railing, like down a set of stairs. Next, we have mounting brackets that are custom fit for Cable Bullet Signature Series posts, as well as brackets for our Venture Series posts. We also have a bracket for dead end mounting your handrail to the side of a post or wall. To keep things a bit more simple here, we'll cover that bracket in a separate video. All of these brackets are T316 marine grade stainless steel. They pair beautifully with Signature Series and Venture Series handrail, but they're also compatible with just about any handrail that has a flat underside. While the mounting brackets differ from one another slightly, you can see these all use the same bracket head. We'll get into how to mount each of these specifically in a minute, but first we'll show you how to mount the handrail since that will be the same process for all of them. To mount your handrail, loosen the set screw on the underside of the bracket head with an eighth inch Allen wrench. Once that's loose, you can adjust it to whatever angle you need to set it for and then retighten. Set your handrail on the bracket head and drill two pilot holes. Use a 5 32nd inch bit if you're going into Signature Series aluminum handrail or a 3 16th inch bit if you're going into Venture Series stainless steel handrail. Next, drive in the two included handrail mounting screws to secure your handrail. Repeat this on any other brackets as necessary. Now let's talk about specific mounting applications. To install our wall mounted bracket, set your bracket collar to the desired location and drill a 3 16 inch pilot hole. Secure the collar in place with the included mounting screw. You'll need a T30 drill bit for this, which you can get at CableBullet.com or at a local hardware store. Your collar will need to be mounted to a stud or some other structural material. Once the collar is mounted, you can screw in the rest of the bracket assembly by hand and then mount your handrail as described earlier. Mounting the post bracket to Cable Bullet posts is even easier since they are custom designed to fit our system. To mount the Signature Series post mounted handrail bracket, slide the bracket onto the post and set it to your desired height before tightening the set screw with a 3 16 inch Allen wrench. Make sure the set screw for the bracket plate is backed out to prevent scratching on your post. For code purposes, make sure you are measuring from the nosing of your stairs to the top of the bracket head. The International Residential Code requires all graspable handrail to be at least 34 inches, but no more than 38 inches high. If you are using intermediate posts, be sure to install the bracket before running your cables through. This process is the exact same for Venture Series post mounted handrail brackets. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about our various handrail brackets, please leave them in the comments below or visit us at CableBullet.com.